It is windy today. Like wind, like Wizard of Oz style windy. I keep thinking a cow's gonna fly past the window. A big coo! That was weird, sorry. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam Scott Thorne and I am a vocal coach based in Glasgow. Now, if you'd like to meet and explore your voice a little more, you can find me on sstvocals.com. You can also find me on various social media platforms and I'll put the handles down below and over there. Over there. That kind of just petered out. Nah. Okay. Now, if you'd like to consider becoming a patron, you have access to things like early release of reactions, you can fast track reactions, become a reaction, there's special roles on my Discord server, and you have access to my patron exclusive content, including my Vocal Anatomy 101 videos. So consider becoming a patron and help shape my channel. Okay, we are going to go back and listen to Yarko Ahola. This is a request for the show must go on, which is a Queen classic. So let's go and have a listen and see what we think. What are we living for? Abandoned places I guess we know the score But on and on Does anybody know what we are looking for? Okay, he is doing something really, really clever in that he's pushing certain phrases and then he's letting the rest of the phrase dissipate but he's not doing it in a specific order. So it's not like every phrase starts strong and finishes like light. He's mixing it up. So you're getting this real ebb and flow, like a push and pull. It's very liquid kind of sounding, if that makes sense, like a wave. So you get these crashes of intensity and then this calm afterwards. Really, really nice. He could be doing this a few different ways. He could be kind of increasing the thickness of his vocal folds so you get Ah, that's me going thick to thin to thick to thin and that changes the vibrational quality so it's not vibrating on two planes anymore in thick it goes to one on thin so that will change the intensity of the sound one way or he could be anchoring on that sound so where he would be relaxed and not using his back muscles Ah, he's pushing in on that sound and that can build the intensity of that sound just from using those muscles in your back and your chest very 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 good though i really enjoyed that another hero another mindless cry behind the curtain in the pantomime hold the line does anybody want to take it anymore Okay, he's also using quite jazzy uh, techniques to stretch that sound. So he'll sit on a consonant, for example, maybe a vowel, but it's a very heavy sound. Da -da. He lets that whole phrase just kind of slide off of that one um, phonetic quality, whether it's a vowel or a consonant, I can't remember but I do know that it was held. <laughs> and you could almost see that he was mirroring what he was doing vocally, but with his body. So he was doing this. So he was actually following that kind of tonal quality in body movement as well. If you look at singers, they tend to do that quite a lot, especially kind of trained ones. They will use their body to kind of almost guide what their voice is gonna do. Um, it's usually they're in sync, if that makes sense. Very nice. Anyway, I stopped at the worst moment because he's about to do the chorus. So let's go. The show must go on. The show must go on. Yeah. Inside my heart is breaking. My mega may be flaking, but my smile still stays on. I'm learning, I must be warm now, I'll 
soon be turning around the corner now. Outside the dawn is breaking, but inside the dark I'm aching to be free. Okay, he has done a lot, so let's go and unpack some of that. So when he builds up an intensity, he's relying more on twang than volume. Now that would sound weird because he is getting louder, but it's because of the oral twang. That's where your epiglottis creates a little chamber above your vocal folds. So the airflow kind of um, compresses and it makes your vocal folds thicker, which creates a bigger sound. It creates a really specific um, brightness between two and four kilohertz, which is the resonant frequency of your ear canal. So that is why that sounds louder because your ears like kind of uh, excited by that sound. So rather than really having to push, you can see he's quite relaxed. He's using that twang and that intensity is coming almost by default because of the twang. It's very, very clever. And when he adds in a little bit of that vibrato, he gets a little bit more of an operatic sound off of that. His larynx is sitting quite high, so he's not got that kind of darkness that opera usually has. Um, but there's certainly operatic tones coming through there as well. Really, really good. The show must go. This is a bit more intense. The show must go. Inside my heart is breaking, my mega may be breaking, but my smile. That sounded very arotenoid rattly. <laughs> like that kind of sound, but blended and nice, not wided. So your arotenoids, for want of a better term, they will open and close your vocal folds. Um, they are located at the back end of the vocal folds and they allow for this kind of movement to allow your vocal folds to open and close. So if you were to rattle them, <laughs> you get that really kind of gritty sound. Um, there's different ways of, uh, or different intensities of that sound. So I feel like he's kind of blended it in with a little bit almost of a fry. So he's letting his vocal fold slack in a wee bit as well. So he's just getting this really kind of misty but also gravelly texture. It was very, very nice. Very good. <laughs> By the wings of butterflies, fairy tales of yesterday who crow and never die. I can fly the red, the show must go on. The show must go on. did a little bit of like a head voicey kind of lick at the end there. It was really cool. Uh, I got higher. He is really interesting in the way that he uses his voice. There's not really a corner of his voice that he won't visit at some point or another through a performance. He's got that kind of breathy, aspirate sound. He's got the twangy sound. He's got the kind of anchored sound. He's belting, he's mixing, he's got everything going on at once, well not at once, but like he visits everything. Um, very, very good. Uses the full range of his voice. Lovely. <laughs> I love that little run at the end there, like, oh. I kept thinking, where's that gonna end? Oh. Very, very nice, loved it. I also like how he sang 
but the guitarist was doing a solo and you could tell he was backing off the mic because he wanted to be respectful and let the guitarist have the solo moment. I like that. It tells me that he works very well in a band setting as well. He understands where he needs to come forward and he understands where he needs to take a step back and let others shine. So, Yako Ahola, well done. So I hope you liked that reaction. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more from me, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and anytime I have new content, you will be the first to know. Okay, how are we gonna buy this one? I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. So I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me and goodbye. Ha 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 stupid bye